even though he had a co-anchor, he was used to always being the lead. And of course, I was anchoring by myself, and I was used to being the lead. And you know, there were very simple things. So we decided to to uh, have dinner one day at your house, and you said, "How are we going to do this?" And we said, okay, let's begin from the papers, because back then, we used to have those papers with carbons in between, and, and, there, colors, be, and there were seven copies, and we both used to use the pink, the pink copy. So I asked him, so does it matter to you what color? He says, yeah, I like the pink one. I said, okay, you keep the pink one. And then we both Did sat on that? the, yeah. yeah, and then we both sat on, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where, where you budged. And I said, um, we sat on the same chair. So I said, what are we going to do now? We both sit on the same side. And he said, it doesn't matter. So I said, okay, I want to sit on this side. So then that's why. But before you've he used to sit. have always been to my left, right? <laughs> yeah. Now I've always. Yeah, so, those, that exactly. was, so that was the physical arrangements on colors and, and the chairs. And then we decided to split everything. Mm -hmm. One day she would start the newscast. The other day I would start the newscast. She would do an interview. I would do the next. She would go to a trip. I would do the, the following trip. It's difficult to maintain the balance because sometimes depending on who you're going to be talking to and where you're going but other than that everything had to be perfect mm -hmm. perfectly divided mm -hmm. that that was the whole idea i think that was how we tried to maintain equality between both of us um and i mean things have changed from from that moment on because of new programming and, and you know changes we don't have the same types of trips or interviews that we used to have but but all the other things i think have become so automatic for us that even if the producers or writers or, or, or assistant producers forget to schedule things a certain way, we already know automatically that if he read something, I'm next. You know, mm -hmm. we, we trust each other that way. And also one thing that I thought was uh, really interesting, how we developed doing extensive coverage, and we have done many times extensive coverage whenever there's a crisis, is that we said, okay, we, we're not going to step on each other. Uh, we're That's not true. going to correct mm -hmm. each other on the air. Uh, mm -hmm. Even if we make a mistake, we're not going to correct each other on the air. And, and then we'd have, you know, little tricks about, I'm done, now you start. Mm -hmm. um, I'm stuck, now you start, you know, whatever it was. So it, it became really easy, really easy for us because we, I knew what to expect from him and he knew what to expect from me. Mm -hmm. Th those were the rules. <laughs> even if we make a mistake on the air, we'll discuss it. Off the air. Off the air. That's, that's the first one. And then if she's talking, I won't interrupt. Mm -hmm. If she wants to go on for an hour, or if I want to go on an hour, <laughs> you don't interrupt. And that kind of respect is very important because you know that you're going to be supported. And once you start doing that, you know perfectly the rules. And then after having her to my left for 30 years, I, I don't even have to see her just by on the edge of my eyes. Any moment and any movement he, she makes, I know what's going to happen next.